welcome back dear friends inside this class we are going to learn about javascript switch statement or you can say javascript switch case so it is similar like javascript nested if or you can say if condition uh, but the way of creating is a little bit different that we are going to learn how we can create switch statement for creating switch statement first you need to create a variable so there are just a bunch of or there are many ways to create switch statement so i'm just going to teach you in my way first we are going to create a variable of you can just use here a keyword not a keyword just a word that can be your name or that can be any other word i'm just using here color is equal to blue and after this variable so here you can see we have the word, keyword of where then we have selected the color color is just a name which is replaceable you can replace this word with any other word for example if you want to use instead of this color you want to use your name your friend name your school name so you can use it is not necessary that you should use color here it's just simple a word that we have written here color then for creating switch you are just writing here switch and this to round bracket the name of your variable for example that we have written here color then curly braces so this is the way of creating switch and inside switch case or inside switch statement we are going to create case for example case we are writing here then a space double or single quotation i am just writing here uh, for example we are creating a case for the blue and we are just putting a colon here then document document dot write i am just saying here just blue or simply blue is the selected color so we can save this now go to your browser and refresh so you can see blue is the selected color because we have selected blue inside the variable so if you want to create multiple case more than one case you need to break your first case here after that we can copy this Control c we can copy and Control v we can paste this time we are creating a case for the red color so here also red is the selected color here i'm just going to create a just a case for the green color and here also green color inside this switch statement as many cases you want you can create this not uh, this does not have any limit so one case for orange color here also orange is the selected color so if you are writing here for example orange you can save this now come here and refresh so you can see orange is the selected color so if you are writing here for example red color so it will display the message for red red is the selected color if you are writing here for example the green you can save and this time green is the selected color so this will display the message the message that you have already defined here and we have defined the message for the green color for the blue for the red and for the orange color for example uh, i'm just writing here a black color which is not defined in the list you can see black is not in the list there is blue red green orange and there is no black i can save this now come here and refresh and we got empty browser there is no message and you must set the message in case if you are using undefined color or undefined uh, just values here so on that case you are just writing here default and put a colon here then you can just say document dot write inside this I'm just writing here undefined color we can save this now just come here and refresh so undefined color instead of black if you are writing here for example pink color 
so pink is also undefined you can see undefined color but in case if you want to just add pink color here p i n k and here also we can add here pink color now we will get a different message you can see pink is the selected color yes friends this is the way of creating switch inside javascript and as i told uh, uh, creating switch statement uh, you can create uh, switch statement in different ways so this the my way that i have just explained for you first we have created a variable variable here we have assigned a name for our variable variable then we have stored that name inside this parentheses then we have just created some cases here inside this switch statement bracket then we have uh, set a last message here so in this way you can create switch statement inside javascript so once again thank you for watching this video and see you in the next class